I didn't think I had a big head, but my headphones suggest otherwise. These ones are made by a brand called Wise, and in general, I quite like their products. That being said, I already have a couple of these headphones, and they all broke in the same spot. So rather than buy a third pair and expect a different result, I'm going to try and fix mine and make this extending hinge part stronger. First, let's take a look at how it all goes together. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. It's just a curved plastic piece that has a hinge on one side and the headband slots into the other end. Uh oh, this is a little bit of a problem. It looks like the wire actually goes through the broken piece. I don't want to disconnect any wires or take this apart any further, so I'm just going to cut the broken part to get it free. I'll make sure the replacement part won't have this issue. Looking at this part more closely, the hinge looks broken too. This whole piece in general seems to be pretty flimsy, which is a bit disappointing considering the rest of the headphones are pretty solid. I seem to remember to also beef up the hinge section of my new part, make it a little wider and stronger. This means the existing screw is probably going to be too short, but I can figure that out. To get the rough shape of the part, I scanned it and imported it into Fusion. A sketch here, a sweep there, a few fillets and bam. That looks better. Although it has roughly the same shape, it has more structure than the original part, and those hinges are much beefier. Let's get this thing printed. I'm going to have to cut off these little bump features, which I think stops the headband from sliding all the way out. I opted to make the replacement part not extendable. I already know how long it needs to be to fit me, so I just made it the correct length about 10 millimeters longer than the original part. The replacement part will just friction fit onto the headband. This will make it more robust. Okay, there's one more thing I need to do. Because I'm using a slightly thicker hinge screw, all these pieces with holes in them will need to be drilled out. You can definitely see the difference in hole size. Beefy. Nice, the hinge on the headphone side is some sort of metal rather than plastic. Now to put it all together. The long slot I made in the part allows me to install it without having to disconnect any wiring. Getting this hinge back together isn't easy. It's also not as hard as I make it look. I wonder if that's because there's something in the way. Now I need to get the screw in before this all falls apart. And finished. I'm quite happy with how it came out. I think the headphones would look better if both sides were replaced, but I'm not going to do that until the other side breaks. The hinge swivels and folds like the original. You can set the hinge friction by tightening or loosening the screw. Like I mentioned earlier, I designed my piece to be about 10 millimeters longer than the original, so here's approximately how much the other side is extended when I wear them. And here's how the length of the original part compares with my replacement. Originally, I didn't bother to profile the outside of my part. You can see here the headband side has a slight curve to it, while my part is flat. It's really not as noticeable as it looks in this video, but I've since given my part a similar curve. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if your headphones broken this way too, let me know in the comments.